Well, hey friends, I just went yard sailing this past weekend and I was so excited about some of the finds that I got. And today I wanted to share with you those finds and how I'm using some of them in my home. Let's get started. Okay, so let me share with you what I got. So from the first yard sale, I found this big Sterilite plastic tote thing um, and it was only 10 cents. I was so excited. I mean this guy's big um, and what I plan to do with this is I am actually going to store the covers to my lawn furniture in this bad boy. Um, it's small enough that it will actually fit under the seat of my lawn furniture and what I plan to do is just roll up the covers very tightly and I know that they will fit in here. Um, we have a problem with earwigs or pincher bags and I want to store my covers inside my house but I don't want to bring in earwigs with my covers to get loose in my house. So if they're in this thing, um, the earwigs will stay in here, hopefully die, and they won't be a problem getting in my house. At that same yard sale, I also picked up this little uh, Corningware dish. Um, it is a 16 ounce little dish. I could use this for cooking and um, for buffets and putting food in so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or if I'm actually going to use it for decorating. I love to decorate with white um, earthenware type pottery stuff just in my general decor so I don't know. I've washed it up and it is actually in my kitchen um, cupboards right now so well it's in my hand but I've been storing it in the kitchen cupboards so I'm thinking it's probably going to be for food but who knows. So then, um, I picked up, my son is just absolutely obsessed with dinosaurs and trucks. And so at this yard sale, they had tons of toy cars and trucks. In fact, he picked up, well, we probably, all yard sale, we probably picked up five of those like little mini cars. And they were only 10 cents at this one particular yard sale, so we got him a few of those. And then we got him this fire truck. And the awesome thing is, is that these buttons here on the side actually work, and this drives all over the place. It's kind of really fun, and um, the ladder goes up and down. It's in really good shape, and it was only 75 cents. So we were heading out of the yard sale, and I happened to see the cutest thing, and I'm so super duper excited about this little set. It came in its original box, but I've taken it out of the box, I've washed it up, I don't think it's ever been used, um, and it is this little picnic wear set, and it's so cute. Um, so you've got your ketchup, and your mustard your salt and pepper. So we like to do lots of bonfires here. We have our own bonfire pit um, and we are getting an outside grill sometime this week and so there's just going to be lots of outdoor cooking and stuff. We're actually going to camp um, later next month and I will probably bring this with us as well. I just think it's so adorable. It's a little picnic, picnic table and these had never been used which was awesome. So at another yard sale I picked up a really large bulletin board. plan to make over this bulletin board as you can kind of see there's some spots where there's some sun fading um, and so my thought is that I'm going to paint the rim of it. I'm thinking maybe gold but I don't have gold on hand so I kind of don't want to wait so I might just do it white um, but my thought is, is I'm probably just going to cover this whole pin board with um, inspirational quotes and pictures and things of that nature and um, I won't really need to worry about all of that sun fading so it was only a dollar which was such a really good deal. At that same yard sale, we picked up a few outside toys, and I'll insert a clip of those items. We got a bright pink wading pool for the kids, and it was the perfect size. It wasn't too big, and it wasn't too small. It's perfect for other kids to come and play with my children, but it's not so big that it's going to take up a lot of area within the play space outdoors. Um, you might see little glimpses of the play space outside. I'm going to do a complete tour of it later on. I have a few more projects that I want to finish up, but you should probably see that video in the next week or so. The pool itself was only a dollar. 
We also picked up the pink bouncy ball that you can sit on and jump around on. It's a teeny bit too small for my daughter. She was too shy to try it out at the yard sale, um, but it'll work for Colt and we don't really care that it's pink and plus we have lots of friends who will come over and use it as well. It was a dollar as well. And then we picked up a white Adirondack chair. Here in Canada, they're called Muskoka chairs, but I grew up in Pennsylvania, and it's an Adirondack chair to me. Um, the kids already have a blue and a pink one, respectively, for Colt and Aubrey. Um, and so we got the white one. I'm hoping to get some more for more friends who like to come over, but it works really great inside of their little playhouse. It was only $2. So also at that same yard sale, I got a trifle bowl. Here it is. It is so heavy. My sister-in-law, who is with me, works at Pier 1. She's worked there for well over five years, maybe almost six. Um, and she was looking to actually see if this was a product that they carry because it is very similar to one that they sell at their store. It's super, super heavy. So I know it's a really quality piece. Um, there is a super teeny tiny little chip in it that I didn't notice till we got home. But it was $1. And you know what? You cannot even see that chip unless I point it out. And to have a trifle bowl that's so super duper gorgeous um, for a buck huge savings. So my son loves boots. He would live in boots if I let him, like particularly rain boots. He wore them all spring long. In fact, he actually cracked them uh, where the foot bends because he wore them so much. So at one yard sale, I found him boots. <laughs> and these are Joe Fresh brand if you're here in Canada or if you shop at JCPenney, they also carry Joe Fresh. Um, and these are them. They are size 8, which is kind of the size that he's He's wearing, but it's a little big on him, so um, he has room to grow within these. They're insulated, so they've got um, a bit of like a faux fur lining. And what I loved so much is that these actually cinch clothes. Closed, they cinch closed. <laughs> and the colors are so him. Um, they were totally perfect. So I asked, they didn't have a price on them. The women said that they were going to be $5. So I kind of hemmed and hawed, but because um, I was sort of at the end of my yard sale money. <laughs> um, but my mother-in-law pointed out that there was another set, and they're the same exact boot. They are one size up, brand new with tags, and um, again, super cute colors that are perfect for my son. So these are size 9, and so she gave me both pairs of boots for $7. Which, when it comes to yard sailing, is not the cheapest of prices, but these are brand new boots, and these are in excellent quality, and I have boots for the next two years, and um, I spent $7. So we also picked up tons and tons of books. My mother-in-law actually bought most if not all of the books for my kiddos. Um, she found some really beautiful selections. We found um, these books. We found one yard sale, the woman had a home daycare, and she was actually um, moving, and um, so she was getting rid of a lot of things. So some of these books came from her home daycare, and they're beautiful, and they're wonderful, and my kiddos can't get enough of them, especially Colt. Also at that yard sale, we found this, um, this puzzle stacker thing, and we have some wooden puzzles, and the pieces always fall out because... I don't have a spot to really store them flat, so I have to store the pieces elsewhere. It's kind of pain, so I really liked that there was a rack for the puzzles to lay in. And one of my favorite finds of the day was my washi tape holder. This is a Recollection brand washi tape holder that you can pick up at Michael's. I don't know the original price of it, but it does come in different sections. So what I so she had six sections just laying there, um, and so I picked up two and kind of asked her how much they were, and she said if I bought three, she would only charge me five dollars. So um, I got three, and they stack on one another, and I have loaded up my washi collection. However, I probably should have bought a few more because I still have washi that wasn't able to be fit onto um, the rack, so that 
that's not good. Um, but I am able to, to display my favorite and most used washi on this. And on the side, there is a spot where you can put pens. I just have a sample card of um, thin washi tape and an Erin Condren um, planner band in there right now. So that is it for my yard sale hauls. My daughter has already asked if we could go yard sailing this upcoming Saturday and I said yes. <laughs> I've got it marked in my planner with a cute yard sale sticker so that is the hope that we will go and try and find some more treasures. So I would love to hear about what you have picked up recently at yard sales. It, they are so fun. They are so fun. I think to myself, well there isn't really anything that I super duper need. However, when I go out I do find things that yes we absolutely do love want and will use in our home. And that is an important mindset to try and keep in mind because I bought things from yard sales that I end up donating because I didn't really need it and I just got trapped in that mindset that, oh my gosh, I have to get it now, someone might else take it and it's super duper cheap, but even though it's really cheap and you're not really going to use it, um, it, it doesn't equate to a good deal at all. So um, I now go in with a mindset of looking for things that we want and things that we will actually use. And if in my head I can't think of a spot or how I will use it in my home, then I'm not picking it up. And sometimes that's a little tough. <laughs> anyway, so let me know about your favorite deals down below and I will chat with you all later. Bye.